Yes. Welcome. Okay, you know when you come, you've got two jobs to do. Yeah. One is sort the mic out. Yeah. And one is sort the camera out. Yeah. Did you sort the camera out? Yeah. You saw me do the camera. Okay. In what fucking world have you sorted the cap? Just play the fucking intro. Okay. Just okay. play the intro, you retard. Alright. to the PG Show with you guys. Thank you for joining us on a Saturday evening where the sun is shining brightly to the point where it's annoying the camera, but we fixed it. I fixed it. We mate. fixed I it. I fixed it. I'm looking red. I'm looking really wow. red You're and like, shiny. Do a Zoidberg. I'm red and shiny. Zoidberg. we got all sorts to give away. We've got transbogs to go through, some awesome ones. And we've also got games to give away. Video games. You don't give me no transmog shit. Now you've got games. I've got video games. Video, video games. games to give away. We've got games to give away this week, which we will certainly be doing. And we've got finally, and it, I'm so happy to say this, we've got the Brofist back. Really? Look at it, baby. The Brofist map is gone. Unfortunately, everybody lives either in America, UK, or that Europe, with the occasional Hawaii. So, we've got rid of the Brofist map. Every single one of you who's ever sent us a Brofist, it took me hours to do, has returned to the wall in stylish fashion. And now we'll be adorning these walls for all time until we move. Uh, but they're generally, they're all really back. So, we've also got a drama story that revolves around almost escaping Team 2. Almost with a clincher. That doesn't sound like I'd enjoy the story. A clincher of almost escaping Team 2. Will there be nudity? No. There is no nudity. After yesterday's drama time... Which was the saddest tale of all time. Oh, I was in on that. I was like... That was a sad tale. That, I was working. You would not have played that shit. You would not have played that no, shit. No, what you do is you organise a devil's three-way, stab him, and then just shag her. And what, that's weird, because then there'd be blood everywhere. And... No, I don't mean in the same room. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Still be blood we start with that, how do we start the show? People, one and all, please give us that almighty shout. Letting us know, you guys... Want to party on? Come on! Come on, hit me with it! I want to see it, I want to see it. A devil's tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> What's a devil's tricycle? Go, go, go! Bring it forth, my friend! Zoidberg style! <laughs> Bro fist to you all, please! I, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. If I've missed you over the last few weeks who've sent these in, I'm so sorry. Have you got blue tag? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is there enough blue tag? Sure. <laughs> Sure, let's do this. I, I'm so happy this is back. This is like the one of the most cool 
ways you can support us in any way. I'll support me especially when I'm in here all day in the blazing hot sun making some vidges for you. It's just to send me a picture Stop of you. Saying vidges. I'm obsessed by vidges. You know why? I watched JR Jim Ross recently. Nice. I know. If there's a good reason as any, it's good old Jim Ross. That's right. Good old JR. Good old JR. I'm, I was going to say a horrible joke there. But <laughs> I'm going to kick off. I'm going to kick off because this is awesome. You just sent me a picture of you throwing a bro fist. I'm fucking seriously. From Australia, Mr. Kaysen. Look yeah. at the fucking swag. Pass it here. You need. Are you going to do it and pass me? From Australia. It's Kaysen. Oh, nice. Yeah. See nice. what I did there, mate? I like that. Just the snippets of comedy value is what make this great. Can I go next? Is that why you're the talent? That's why I'm the talent and you're just the, you're the fucking roadie. Kaysen goes next to Mr. Delore. Sorry, dude. I had no say in this. <laughs> no one should go next to Delore. <laughs> I like it. Mr. Delore. Can I go next? Hit me. Okay, have you got the blue teasy? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, I've got Gary from Kentucky. That's mean. Do you know what piss... Guys, we want more stereotypical. If you come from Kentucky, motherfucker better have a colonel's moustache. And you are not dropping a colonel's moustache. Oh, mustache. one of those, like, you know, like them bow tie oh, things that come yeah. down there? I need yeah. it. I need it in my life. I need stereotypical Why are you stuff. not being stereotypical? Exactly. Back it up, son. The colonel! I say you did. I say you, he did. <laughs> That's Gary. That's mean. Watch this. Ready, watch. got a huge fist, by the way. <laughs> you do the next one. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, dude, there's someone from the abyss, but he's happy to be in the abyss. Oh, by I haven't put face. locations on because we're not on a map. I'd still like to know where they're from. They didn't even tell me. Technically, it's a maelstrom. Okay, it's a maelstrom. Dude, we should have a bin. We should have a bin. <laughs> You're going <laughs> in the bin. Richard from the bin, who's happy to. Just look at it. Happy face. You know what his nickname is, though? Ricky. I go with Dick. Oh, harsh. No, 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 no. Because that's the shortness of Richard. Why is Dick short for Richard? Yeah? Why is Dick short for Richard? I blame Dick Cheney. Rich. Rich. Yeah? Rich. Hey, Rich. Oh, hey, Dick. Now, rocking the smoothest hairdo of all time. Holy And you look kind of serious. You, you don't look, look happy. You look like the fourth unofficial member of the Lonely Island. But your name... Jeffro, Jeffro, taking mate. fucking names, Mr. Nice. Jeffro, you're up, son. Nice. Next. Oh, it's a dude. It's a durst. It's a durst. It's a durst. This is Jack. It's a legit. How young is Jack, yeah, man? Yeah, Jack. I hope you have headphones if you watch my content, because your parents don't goof you up otherwise. He's this, a youngster. Yeah, you're a youngster, Jack. We appreciate the young audience, and it is. After the uh, well, you get noticed about yeah, you know it's, parental it's, guidance and stuff like that. But make sure you've got headphones on with you being young because you don't want to be get caught out because you're gonna look a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, look, look at the dust over the eyes. You can't see the eyes. That's dust. Just be careful. You'll get parental control on your Warcraft. Indeed. Boom. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, no, that is the, dude. That is a Bieber. This guy you will find in a Starbucks. With some thick ring glasses, maybe a scarf and a biscuit tin, and a flow over there. A biscuit tin? Why do we have a biscuit tin? <laughs> this is Jamie. That is smooth. Full on. That is smooth. Biscuit tin. <laughs> what do you do with those biscuits? Get away. <laughs> you like biscuits before they were cool, mate. Oh, hipster biscuit, man. <laughs> I'm doing these because you took too long. Oh, dude, group bro fist. Yeah, man. I got all the names. Well done, mate. So, okay, so this is Bart, Dave, Danny, Boudry? Uh, yeah. And Nick. What? Do you not realise, like, how annoying it is that your names are Bort, Dave, Danny, Nick, and Boudry? Wherever he's from, he doesn't belong in your group of friends. <laughs> he does not belong. Oust him. You can't see. Back a bit. Put it back. But look at the screen. There you go. Oust him. Oust him. Boudry, you cut. Oh, dude, double youngster bro fist. One of them excited to get that bro fist on the camera. The other one's like, all right, I'm in. Check it out. <laughs> Check that out. Look at this. Yeah? Chap on the left. Look at that. I'm in. Look at the right. All right, buddy, you're in. All right. All right. All <laughs> look right. at the name, though. Casper. Casper. The friendly bro fist. Nice. Yeah? Oh. Shut up, you dick. <laughs> Oh, dude, we've got one from Greg, who's sporting a bit of our merch. His armour. He's sporting the PG armour. He's, uh, 
doesn't look comfortable throwing that bro fist. Oh, he's okay. With it. He's like, it's like the first time you, you have like, a three way. Which way do you go? No, he's like, do you know, like you're at, um, it's like you're at your girlfriend's friend's wedding, but you're asked to get into a picture, and it's like, why the fuck? Are... I've had to do that so many times. Yeah. Get yeah. In the picture, Mike, because you're look. male. Look at the merch, though. Shining in all its glory, right there on them titties. Well done, mate. Thank you, Gary, and that's the bro fist. That is awesome. I like the return, mate. I like the I'm return. so happy to see the return of the bro fist. Do you know what? I'm going to do it one time, awesome. I'm going to fucking... Uh, I keep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tone the swearing down a bit early on. I'm going to try. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pins and some string, link them all together with notes and shit, and make you look like a serial killer. Oh, like a... Like, a, yeah. like in Heroes. Exactly, like Inception, mate. Mm. I, why do people... Do, you, can you imagine, right? You're on the set, and you're making a show like Heroes, and you have to be the guy... Who does the string thing? Because you're a runner. You're like a, a volunteer, really. You don't even get paid. And like, oh, we need to just set up like a string thing in the background. I would just go, no. Nope. <laughs> Going home. That must be the most tedious fucking job in the universe. I would hate to do that. You could have some fun with that, though. You can make the string like, so when the camera pans out, it's actually the shape of like a cock. <laughs> <laughs> totally did you know who me. did something like that? Do you know James May is? I'm sure you do. From of course Top I know James May. Do you know we got fired from a magazine because he had to do a review of all these things? And the, it was like every paragraph started with a big red letter and it spelled motherfuckers. All the way through it. Yeah, if you like lined up all the red letters and nobody noticed in the publishing team and they published it, it came out and everything was like motherfuckers or so something. So, you're fired. Yeah, it was fucking Dude, brilliant. that reminds me of, and it went, and it was when we were still working at the pub, is um, there was a larger can of Tango. Do you remember this? Uh, no. Basically, there was a larger can of Tango that got released and it was called Tango with added Tango. So, more Tango. So, if you put your hand on it, and every word was on its own line, you put your hand on it, covered the rest of the words, letters, apart from the first letter of each one. Tango, with added tango, yeah. spells. Oh, twat. Twat. Yeah, twat. And that Sorry, went on so sale. Long. Just like you held the can right, and it just said, twat. Now, before we get into our discussion, there's a couple of things. Can you grab them? Down there. We had awesome deliveries this week. One, we asked for an Xbox 360, and one of you delivered in style. Absolutely in style. Look at this shit we got sent this week. So we want to make a big thank you. We've got Gears of War 2. Halo Reach. Best Halo. Don't care what you say. Best Unreal Halo. 2. Alien AVP, which so far is shocking. Star Wars Republic Remake Commando. this game, you fucks. Halo 2, which I'm playing through. Didn't, not even played the first one. Army of 2. Awesome. Second one. Halo 3. Oh, oh that's not Halo 3. It's ODST. Halo 3 ODST. Time Shift. Battlefield Bad Company. Awesome game. Splinter Cell Conviction. Awesome game. Section 8. With Section 8. I've never played... We've Wait got it on the PC. Is that what's... Oh, it totally is as well. Yeah, we've got it on the PC. Good game. Brink. Underrated game. I love this and everyone hated it. Lego Star Wars. Lego. Who gives Lost Planet 2. Never played it. Gears of War 3. Amazing game. Lord of the Rings Conquest. All right. Sims. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Emma, do you want to play a game on the Xbox? Let's try it out. And <laughs> she went, no. <laughs> Mech Assault. I think that's it. Oh, nice. We also got Battlefield 3, but it got damaged and delivered. But look at that shit. Look at that. Thank you so much. That is a lot of stuff that we are going to be filming for you guys. It was fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, it's the best. We also, somebody found our address... Some of you have creepy ways of finding our address. Now, How did someone keep... find your address? There are ways. There are ways <laughs> there and means. Are ways. There are ways and means. And it, it interests me that you didn't send poison. <laughs> I like that people didn't send poison. Because they found your address and not mine. Yeah, they found, <laughs> they found our address and said poison. But I get like poison dog turns, baby limbs and everything. People know us too well. Kind of, right? So, you know what my favourite... Does anybody know what my favourite wrestler was when I was younger? I bet some people know. But we got these. Scott Hall. <laughs> which are going on the wall. Scott Hall. Rhino, my favourite wrestler of the fucking time. Rhino was so legit. That gore. Come that on. gore on Kid Cash. It was good. And one that I don't think we could put up, and some people will know why, is Rhino and Chris Benoit. <laughs> so, See, the thing is, yeah. though, my favourite, your favourite wrestler is in the Champion Clashes. 
with a uh, Tajiri and Axel Rotten and Balls Mahoney. Who cares? Tazzy's there though. Fair play. Mine's in the thrill zone. The thrill zone. The thrill with zone. Lance Storm. GG. Wait, Chris Candido, mate. GG. Lance Storm. GG. Tommy of Dreamville. GG. Sucks. Uh, actually, looking around. Oh, yours is there as well. Oh, I'm in multiple categories. Ah, you're a dick. That's what you are, mate. Ah, multiple categories, baby. Oh, you're in the Champions Clashes too. That's because, yeah, and I'm first as well. Let's not hide that. <laughs> Let's not hide that. So thank you very much. Weird that you found our address, but thank you very much. And we'll have these up on the wall as soon as possible. I'm going to have them at the box. <laughs> Before we get to transmogs and shit, what games have you been playing this week? I played a few, mate. I played a few. You found the kind I want of interest. I want to be quite loud. I found an interest in what you say. In streaming random games. In streaming random games. Which is awesome. So what have you been playing? It's awesome. So what have I been playing? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Go on. Okay, so uh, I got gifted by Juro uh, Metro Last Light. Yeah. yeah. Nice. The atmosphere in that game is... It's creepy, right? Amazing. Mm. Yeah. So even in the sewers and on the uh, surface, it's like two different fucking games. Totally two different games. Isn't the so sur- good. You know what got me about that game? I mean, the it's massive. The titties. Yeah, titties in it. But the surface world is so rare, but when you're out there, God, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's so fucking good. I, I mean, I it. like that they don't... It's really good, so you could expect the whole game could be out on the surface and it'd be awesome. I mean, that's... A, it, but it'd be a lot like... People would be like, oh, it's like Fallout. Uh, but, I mean, it's got the... It's elements of Fallout, Half-Life 2 are all thrown in there. Some of the monsters are the same and shit, but... It's rare. I like the way they went, oh, it's really good, but we're not going to do it all the time. Yeah. And the atmosphere is so fucking good yeah. when you're on it. You know it's like silent it? and creepy. The feeling when you're killing that last, like, um, massive dog creature, point blank with a shotgun, and your gas mask gets sprayed with blood, and you just go... Did you like the wiping thing? The only time that it annoyed me is against that massive, triffid like thing in front of the church. It annoyed me a lot, because after the first one, I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, wiping your mask, a little bit of immersion... Sometimes I'll be fighting something and I was like, this is just annoying because I can't see anything. And I have to wipe my mask instead of just shoving my yeah. double barrel down your fucking throat, which is what I wanted to yeah. do. That's what I mean. When I'm fighting that triffy thing, it's the only thing, the only time that it came into play that I didn't like it is because um, the people who are gunning at it as well are throwing explosives at it. And every bit of rubble magnetized itself to the front of my mask. It's like, <laughs> 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 what was your uh, guns of choice? Oh, good, good question, mate. Your guns of choice are important in those kind of games. Because you can carry three, right? Yeah, all the way through it, as soon as I got it, but I changed it for a better version of it, was there was a, you know, the SMG, the side-loading SMG? Yes. With a night vision scope and a silencer. You Did you mod your weapons? I didn't even bother. Yes, I did. I didn't even bother modding my yes, weapons. I, I just picked up, if, it was, if I saw one that was better than mine, I just picked it up. If yeah. it had more upgrades, I just did that. But I did waste, because money is ammo in that game uh, Mission, it, mil- uh, military, military grade, grade ammo. ammo right so you can either choose to sh- kill something really quickly or spend it and I had the, the fucking most annoying part of that game is the same button for reload is also change your ammo to military grade a- ammo and then at some point I was like I have no money and I just pressed R for like a second too long at some point for reload and wasted all my money I was like you motherfucker Dude, I did that in a, there's a boss in it it's not a spoiler because it's nothing integral to the storyline you're fighting like this big colossal thing that charges you you basically got to lead it to a pillar so it smashes into the pillar at that point I had three weapons 20 rounds in the uh, SMG which didn't penetrate its armour five throwing knives one claymore so I barged it into all these pillars and I was on the stream as well and uh, basically I was just like I've got nothing left let me just try this and then as I, it was charging towards me, as I ran, I dropped a claymore, turned around, and then moved out of the way as it hit the claymore and it killed it. It was like, totally fucking called it. <laughs> totally called Down it. To Just turned around and was like... Yeah! <laughs> Kicked its ass. Fucking di- but the game itself, yeah. Well oh, recommended. Really, really yeah, recommended. I recommend it. A lot of fucking sex scenes. Yeah. We both got caught on the stream with sex scenes in that game. It's pretty gratuitous when it comes it's in. It's not just that. It's the fact that you, uh, you, know, you get introduced into the strip club and there's a girl on the pole with a load of people around her. You know, throw her a couple of bullets, watch her dance. Tell you what is funny about that, in the corner, there is like a general guy with a stripper sat on his knee and he's just got a hand on a titty. Yeah. Right? He's it's talking up, Yeah, he's took, talking away from it. I did it on the stream as well and the second time, like when I was on my way back up, just to make sure. He's like talking away to it. When you stand near him, like she looks up and he just goes. <laughs> so it's like really awkward. It's like, <laughs> it just walked off. But yes. Yeah. So you get the stripper on the pole, which then raises it to a private lap dance where you can throw more money in and she gets her jabs out and she's grinding in your face and she bends over, you can see what she had for breakfast and you can get stoned there yep. as well. And then later on you bang someone. 
It's uh, it's got a lot of sex in it. So we both played that one. We both fucking loved it. Yeah. Might do a video on that one. Maybe. We should do. We, we, should, should. Do a, we should do a video on Let's that. base it on the, on them titties. Let's be, oh, you want to base the whole video them on titties. titties. <laughs> Were you playing Hotline Miami as well? Hotline Miami, yeah. It's so... It made me feel sick. Oh, I can't get off it. And do you know something? It's one of those indie games. It's set in uh, 1989, I think. But the soundtrack is so good. You've got to keep it. It's like a, an 8-bit style um, indie game, Hotline Miami, if you've never played it. Basically, you just got to clear floors of a place by killing people because you're an assassin of sorts. But they move so fast and they kill you with one hit as soon yep. as they hit you. So you've got to be very, very strategic, like using doors to smash people in the face and stuff like that. I can't stop playing it. And there's a side story. It's really confusing, but I can't pull myself away from it. Like... You're going nuts, basically. Yeah. You're going nuts. And uh, I've just got to a part now where it's like, everything's changed. You're a different person. And it's just like, all right. But I'm going to stick it out. In fact, I, I think I'm like three levels from the end. So after here, I'm going to finish it before I do something else. But, oh, I'm loving it, man. Yeah. I'm really like it, yeah. So you're going to be streaming more? Because we've, you know, we've got so many games to play now. I mean, I've been playing uh, Alan Wake. You not tried Alan Wake? No. That game is Fucked. Absolutely fucking creepy as shit. You guys played Alan Wake? Jesus Christ, it's so weird. Like the first two hours, I think I streamed the first two hours of the game. It was just bizarre. I mean, really weird. But interesting at the same time. Not hard, which I think is kind of important in a very story-driven game, is it's not difficult, right? So you get you get to shoot people every now and again. But, God, it's so weird. And I want to find out how the story finishes. So I've got Alan Wake to play and the DLC. I, I'd say I'm only on, I think, story two. Right. But, fuck, it's weird, dude. I'm talking, you're dealing with shadows, yeah. lights. Your main weapon is a torch, which is really weird. Like, your main primary weapon is a torch. Like, the most valuable gun in the game, flare gun. Torch. No, flare gun. Flare gun is like the ultimate fucking grenade of death. I'm telling you, it's so weird. I don't even know. It might be a bit too weird because you don't like really scary games. I don't, but that's that's something that I'm going to come to. Is like, um, I'm going to stream... Well, I'm going to play temporarily because I don't think I could completely stop. I'm going to play League of Legends less because... I want to introduce a bit of variety when I'm streaming, but I also need to go through these games that people send me because I've got such a list mm -hmm. now. And I think it'd be good to get through them. I can still jump on the league and get a win of the day or whatever. But I want to go through it, and there's so many titles. But also, um, it was this weekend, which I talked about downstairs, is there's a game that I've been on the fence for for a while. Not because I'm thinking, is it going to be good, is it going to be bad? Everyone knew when it came out, it was going to be amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's a very, very, very immersive game. Now, on Steam, they've just done that game with its complete package of DLC and stuff like that for, I think it's like 20 or £25 pounds or something like that. And it's Skyrim. Are you going to play it? Because you you 100 percent in Oblivion. Yeah. Skyrim's going to consume your life. Sk like, uh, the only two that I've played like that, because I've never played any of the other Elder Scrolls apart from Oblivion and Fallout 3. Those two games I 100 percent in because... I got that immersed. I wanted to do every type of character creation. I wanted to be the good. I wanted to be the bad. I wanted to buy this. I wanted to buy that. I want to do the exploring. I want to find all the hidden weapons, the items, the armor. I want to find the hidden bosses. Everything I wanted to do about. I those remember games. I came around when I used to come to your house and you were playing Oblivion. I, I've, I've never played Oblivion. I logged into Oblivion. I think at yours, and it wasn't for me. I don't know why. It seemed like it's one of those games where I was like, this game has a lot in it. I don't have time for it. I put it down before I could get into it. I, and I kind of do that sometimes. It's like, this is an amazing game. I went into the first city or town that you find. And there, every NPC had like a million talk options. And I was like, this game is going to take a long time. I'm not going to play it. And I logged out immediately. Just, I was yeah, like, I don't want to get into it. That's a smart move. Why not yeah, to play it? Yeah, it was just it, like, I can't do this. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to tear myself away from it once I'm into it. Yeah. So I just left it alone. I was like, no, I can't do that. And that was the last I ever played of Oblivion. But I know you would... I remember coming around to yours and you were like, well, I'm doing the vampire achievement, I think it was, where you had to turn into a vampire and then find a cure. All that kind of stuff. And then Skyrim came out. And I have played Skyrim for the first 10 minutes, but purely because I bought it for Emma's dad. And uh, I had to check the disc was working. Of course. Of course. I've, got, I've got to check the disc is working. Good guy, Preach. Is a good guy. Yeah, I've got to check the disc is working. Uh, so that's the only time I play it. But I'm looking forward to watching you play it. I've not said that I'm going to get it yet. Well, if you do, I mean, I can get it for you. It's no problem. No, because uh, that... The thing is, like, if I got, like... Imagine this, if I went home tonight, I'm streaming uh, Hotline Miami. I'll buy that game. I'll download that game. As soon as that is done, I will be on that. 
because I'm I that. Think, I, I think people want to see you play it. I don't know. I'm that eager to play it, but I I want to clear some of my catalog first. There's some games that I can do in like a day. There's some games that I can do in a couple of days, a week. That game, I'll be. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get it. Eventually, all right, I'll all get right, it. All right. But we're going to be streaming. Fuck you! I know that face. On Thursday, can we say this? Is it going to be Thursday or maybe another day? Because Thursday we've got a plan of things we need to do. Okay, I stream Wednesday. But we're both going to be streaming Resident Evil 5. When, we, when do you want to do that? Well, that's up to you. Well, that's up to you. Do it on the Wednesday, man. We can do it on the Wednesday. We're going to be streaming Resident Evil 5. Co-op, Co mate. Uh, you're yeah. being Sheva, by the way. I'll be Sheva. Dibs on Chris. I don't know. So we, we, both, we need some footage from it. So we're going to be streaming Resident Evil 5 this week as well. Uh, there's another game I've been playing. I've been playing Alan Wake. Uh, I didn't get to stream a lot because I had funerals and stuff this week. Yeah, it was kind of a yeah. shitty week. Uh, but can I talk about this game? Because I'm so far behind. Now, I know I'm late to the party. This game. I want to see the crowd reaction. Do you like this game? Really? Halo 2. I want to see the opinions. Love it. Halo 2. For those of you who've played Halo 2. So fucking good. Best game. This is not a very good game. Oh, I don't disagree with you. It's not. It really isn't. And I'm not talking from the perspective that it's an old game. This is the game I'm currently playing through. So I, I read the story. I wikipedia Halo 1 because I haven't got Halo 1. Uh, but we have everything else, I think, besides Halo 3, I think. No, I've got, no we haven't got 4 because I've got... We haven't got 4. I've got... No, I've got all of them apart from 4, basically. The best game in the series? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it's not for streaming. No, no it it's isn't. not a very good game. And it's, that... that pissed me off because... Is Xbox... It's based on Halo, it's right? It's a flagship game. And I was like, I've got the Halos. I'm going to sit down. I've got all these games. I'm going to go through the Halos first. So I read... I had to Wikipedia Halo 1, what happened in the story, because the story is really important to me. Mm. And then I started playing it. And I was aware it's an old game. The graphics didn't bother me or anything like that. But God, it's, it's just... It's not a very good game. No. I said this to you before. Um, Halo 1, for its time as well, because it was very, very, very cutting edge. Amazing game. Um, and then I break, I broke from that because I, that was on the first Xbox. And the only time that I played the rest of them was when I got an Xbox 360 after my PS3. So we're only talking like two years ago. And I played, I played through the franchise: Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, and then Reach. Excuse me, sorry. I'm... The only two that I really enjoyed, and this is probably going to upset a lot of the fan base who play it, is ODST. I thought was really good. Reach, I thought, was unbelievable. Reach was so good. It re Reach is a prequel, basically, where it shows John 117 as the last Spartan. Unbelievable game, that game. He's Master oh Chief, my God. Yeah. yeah, Master yeah. Chief, John 117. But yeah, I started playing Halo 2, and i got to admit, I had to start the game twice. First time I played it, I got lost. In the first 10 minutes of the game, I was lost for about 3 or 4 minutes, and it pissed me off. And I was like, there's nowhere else to go until I realized I had to backtrack and a door had opened. It was one of them where you had to backtrack and a door's opened that you'd already passed. Yeah. So the progression was kind of annoying. So I did that. And I was liking the combat. The combat's actually fine. I really like the combat. I'm getting used to shooting things on a control pad, which I've, I haven't done. I, know, I understand why it's so bad. Uh, but <laughs> I get used to that and that was fine. And then I got lost again, which really fucked me off because... You shouldn't have that in a single player campaign is the opportunity to get lost and it was it was a backtrack again i had to backtrack and this is only like the first mission which is where you're on a spaceship uh, i assume we can spoil halo 2 it's old as fuck uh, but yeah you're on you're on a, a ship that you, that's under attack and you have to defend the ship she's fine and i was watching i fucking lost again and it pissed me off so i turned it off went and did something else came back i thought right i'm gonna reload the game play it played it again and it was just frustrating. There were certain encounters that were going on that were just really poorly designed. Like, just generally poorly designed. And it really f started to fuck me up. But I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish through it. Because the story looks pretty good. The story is good. Yeah, the story looks pretty good. So I'm going to play through the story and try and ignore these stupid gameplay things. But I might even turn it down to easy. I was, I was playing it on normal. Just so I could blast through it. I kind of want it to get over no, with as quickly as possible. Normal, yeah, I'll probably do it on normal. You know, I mean, the thing is, as well as, when you get to reach... Let me do it in co-op with you. Okay. You can do the whole campaign in co-op, and there is so many good parts in co-op. And there is a very slight degree of transmog in that game. Okay, okay. So well, if you've you got to transmog, earn that shit. you got to earn your transmogs. I, I don't, I've got to be late to the party again. I And this subject is, is going to be like, yeah, this is years old, but it's only re recently dawned on me. A couple of things, actually. One, Xbox 360 hardware. 
and PlayStation 3 for that matter is fucking horrible. Oh, yeah. Even at 1080p, which I know it's upscaled, all the games are 720 and the upscale is 1080 it's fucking horrific. I, I, I cannot understand how people haven't more moved away to PC uh, because it's just disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Even at, I've got it on maximum res, it's fucking horrific. Uh, Xbox 360 games, the best ones, because I plugged every game in to check they were working. Horrible. What do you mean? Graphically. Graphics. Just graphically disgusting. I know what you mean, but the thing is as well, and I said this before, <coughs> you've got to, just for the look of the clarity to get as much feel if you were looking for the graphics, plug it into a PC monitor. I can't stress that enough. If you put it into a PC monitor, that's why as well, if you remember when we used to go game shopping and stuff like that, and we're even talking about all the times now, when they have their display 360 or PS3 set up with a game for you to come and walk up and try, it will always be on a PC monitor. Hmm. Purely because the clarity is so much more better. So much I more better. You. So much, <laughs> so more, much better. more better. But I, I, this is... I cannot believe... this is. I know I'm so late to the party on this. I'm fully aware of that. How Microsoft has possibly gotten away with Xbox Live. I was literally gobsmacked at how stupid Xbox Live is. And I... It, let me put it... This, this is how stupid it seemed to me. I get it's the only console that charges you to play multiplayer, right? PSN doesn't do it. Wii doesn't do it. PC certainly doesn't do it. Uh, so I was prepared to get an Xbox Live Gold membership to play multiplayer with people. Because I wanted to play Halo 3 multiplayer, which is apparently... And Reach multiplayer, which I think is the best. Reach uh, I'm told Reach is good. And Gears of War... And stuff like that. We can call up Gears of War! Yeah, we can call up. We've got both of them here. Um, so we could do all this stuff we've got to look forward to. You mean both? It's three of them. You've got well, two I, of them, I haven't got... You? Well, I'm missing one. Um, so I was prepared for that. And I was okay with that. Because they've got, like, dedicated servers and stuff. Microsoft runs a server farm and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but saying that, we Borderlands over PSN. The original Borderlands we played over PSN. And we never had an issue at all. It was fine. We even spoke. We had, we had like, Vent or whatever their equivalent is. And it was fine. We had no issue whatsoever. So... I kind of get that they're running their own servers and maybe the multiplayer features are smoother or, you know, better, whatever. Um, so I was kind of okay with that. They wouldn't let me play YouTube on the Xbox 360 without having a fucking gold membership. Oh, no. And I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? And that was it. I was prepared to pay for it for multiplayer. It's fine. I kind of understand it. But to not allow people to do things like YouTube without an Xbox Gold Live membership... I was like, you can fuck off. I said, that is, I just thought that is so no, you fucking think retarded. It is, you think about it like Netflix. It's like, okay, so you're playing for, you're paying for a broadband subscription. Fair enough. You're paying for a Netflix account on top of that. Fair enough. You yep. want to watch it through the Xbox? Nope. That is just nope. disgusting behavior. I don't like it. Well, I, I was in the same mindset as you. I mean, I sort of knew it going into it. So, well, I, I thought it going into it. When uh, my Xbox Gold account expired... Um, we tried watching something on Netflix downstairs in the house. I think it was around Christmas time. And as soon as I did it and it booted up and then it said, like, you need your gold account to do this, it was just like, fuck. I, just think, I think that is absolutely so yeah, rude. I don't, I don't like More that. than anything, I think that is absolutely rude. But it's not even something that actually affects me. As much as I... It's, it sounds so stupid, but it's the principle of the matter more than anything is I was more than prepared to get an Xbox Live membership to play multiplayer Xbox games. I was fine with that. That was the only reason I wanted it. I was okay with it. Playing YouTube, Netflix, whatever, on the TV, doesn't interest me at all because our PC is hooked to the TV. Anything I can get on the PC, I can put it on the TV anyway. It was the principle of the matter that YouTube is completely free. Why do I need an Xbox Live Gold membership to watch fucking YouTube? Why would I ever... Think, why is that a reasonable situation to be in? And that, as such, I was just like, I'm not paying for this. I just think you're an absolute robbing bunch of cunts. I think that is absolutely fucking disgusting. And I, that was the whole reason that put me off. Yeah, Despite no, the fact, no, if, no, it, if they would have said, oh, it's just multiplayer, I would have been fine with that. I would have paid them. I, would, I was like, okay, just multiplayer, fine. The fact that you dis, you're disallowing free services, or like Netflix services, I already pay for outside of your system. And having both a PS3 and a Wii which can do both free anyway. I can get any of those things on the... I mean, I've watched Switch through my PlayStation 3 downstairs. Can't do that anymore, I don't think. Uh, but it was just disgusting. I mean, no, how I can that be allowed? It's daft. It really makes me sick. It was really disgusting behaviour. And I refused... Just on the principle of the matter, I refused yeah. to pay them now. I absolutely refused to pay them. Yeah, Xbox One, did we really... Do, there was the most hilarious thread in fucking history yesterday. 
I don't know if you saw this. If any of you browse Reddit, it was the most hilarious thread. So funny. Ever. It was brilliant. <laughs> and it's no surprise that on a popular site like Reddit, which is, I think it's got something like, what, 140 million views a month or something crazy, that it's a big PR area. You can only, you judge the AMAs, all this kind of stuff. There's something for everybody on Reddit. That's the point. That's why it's so popular. But the people from Microsoft, the PR company, got discovered who had been mass downvoting everything on Reddit that was disparaging Xbox One. So if anybody said anything about Xbox One that was bad, they were mass downvoting it. This whole PR company had paid a team of people to do that. And they got found out on Reddit. And the result Worst place in the fucking world. Oh, to get they discovered. got so it was genius. Shit on. Yeah. It was the most hilarious so fucking thread I have ever seen in my life. Because everybody knows that happens. But what Microsoft didn't need right now is to get found out on a place like Reddit. But again, as people said, this isn't where they're targeting you at all. They're after the kids. And they post pictures of kids with Call of Duty and stuff who are about four or five. Obviously, don't go on Reddit. Uh, you can find I think it's still one of the, the top fucking... The funny thing is... The top page, probably, yeah, still. This came out um, after the whole reveal about what the Kinect is actually capable of and needs to incorporate into your Xbox. Do you feel bad for Microsoft? I'm going to bring up a couple of things. Uh, no. I, think, but I, know, I know you don't. I know you don't. But I'm trying to get a discussion going. If you give me a second, we'll get into it. All right, go for it. Okay. Do you feel bad for Microsoft? Because you no. have to know... PlayStation 4 isn't going to be too far away from what well, the Microsoft I, no, I, you know, I totally Do you know agree. what I mean? It's not. They might I be totally sitting pretty agree. going, Microsoft, do what you want to do. But the PlayStation 4 no. ain't going to be that far away from I know it. what you mean, but the fact of the matter is this. It's never, ever, ever going to come into my house with that capability. Ever. Yeah. I think, no, there's nothing, I, you know, I've not got like a child trafficking agency in my front room next to where I'm cutting my Don't cocaine. Lie. <laughs> Do you know, but I don't want some. I don't want a piece of equipment or technology in my house governing if a I can or cannot play games in DVD. Judging on how many people are sat in my front room, or that not. really bothers me. Oh yeah, and B has the potential to feed audio and video to any sort of agency and data mining companies that can use that information for telemarketing, for legal condition and cases and stuff like that. Bullshit. See, the that thing, doesn't well, bother me. The thing is, it does for me, though. I know that they can browse my computer yeah. or have a search history and stuff like that. I know that my phone searches and conversations are being tracked. But something that is always on in my house... What if, you know, I've got three hookers in my house. I'm banging the crap out of them. Bang. Someone goes bad at the FBI, mate. That's on YouTube the next day. That's <laughs> on YouTube the next day. It's the whole thing. I mean, they've released the privacy thing now where you can turn it off so it's not monitoring you all the time. Uh, they've, they've released that they, they, you can have that option where it won't listen in for you. Um, but I thought about it from... Someone said, are you aware your laptop has a camera? And then I thought about it as like, this technology of having something that can hear me and watch me anytime, I'm surrounded by that 24 hours a day. That aspect doesn't really bother me. I actually think if if you've got a phone with a camera or you've got a webcam on your PC or you've got a fucking... I mean, in this room particularly, if someone wanted to... Obviously, people have the capabilities of accessing my machines if they really wanted to and what and turning on my cameras. Uh, we've got cameras, microphones. There's fucking like six microphones in here. There's multiple cameras. That doesn't bother me. I, I, I in fact, already live in that world. But you choose for that. I choose and you can choose to turn the connect off. You can't. Well, no, no. Well, no, it no. has to be on when it's on. But it, do, when you turn the Xbox off, you can turn the Connect off. Yeah, I know that. But you got to think of it as well. Is Xbox? They're trying to push for this one box technology yes. thing, aren't they? So it's we, replacing everything you've got exactly. in your home. Mm -hmm. So, like in the UK, when we're watching Sky or something like that, or we're watching something, you know, uh, a different party company who's letting you watch TV through, that needs to be on. Yes, I do agree. That needs to be on. But I, in the in the passive state, the people making a fuss about that has to be on. When I watch something on my PC, or do something on my PC, my webcam is on. I do live in that environment now, and it doesn't bother me. I live in an environment where if I'm doing something on my PC, which is near enough every single day, obviously, and for many, many hours, I don't turn, I don't unplug my camera and I don't unplug my microphone. I leave those on anyway. Sometimes I leave this PC on. And so for me personally, all I'm saying is for me personally, I can see why people who are, obviously I'm in a unique environment where I'm in a room that is designed to record a lot of shit. But people who are not used to that are going to find this very uncomfortable. But I gener I, for me personally, that stuff doesn't bother me. What does bother me, though, is... I think I sent an example to you. I texted you about it because that big thing was coming out. Is One, it will recognize people. That bothers me. Oh, yeah. that It yeah. will recognize people. Let's suppose I was... 
fucking googling flashlight and scat porn and god knows whatever at home like you do and then you said come and watch game of thrones at my house i was like okay hey, we're not too far away from if you were to say i'll oh, go on your xbox or your ps4 don't let's not forget the ps4 will probably do this as well is let's watch game of thrones and you watch it through your xbox what that will then be able to do is say oh mike lamb's there or fucking How's that flashlight covering shit? That yeah, you your honest? adverts that will come up during Game of Thrones, and you can guarantee they will do this, will be specifically tailored to whoever is watching. That's the, the whole thing. That's exactly what it is. So instead of like companies saying, well, we want to play Tampax adverts during this thing, it'll go, well, there's no men in the room. We're not going to do that. And they'll play specific adverts tailored to your Google searches. Fucking for real, it'll come up with the latest scat porn video in the middle. And then everybody's going to be like, this is obviously an extreme example, but people will be looking around like, who the hell has been looking at whose hair is doing that? That's really weird. Just really quickly, just to peg a couple of these things. What's Solution, that? unplug the camera. It does not work. Yeah, you can't do that. If your Kinect cannot detect someone sat there in front of the camera, it will not function. That is what they've said. Yeah, the whole point is it has to be on. If your Xbox One is on, your Kinect has to be on. And I think you can't put it in a drawer either. No, you can't. It, it, has, needs to, to it has to see people. Yeah. Because as well, um, that boiled down to the core facts. If you put a film in, you're having a house party or something. It's like, oh, let's stick a film on. If that camera detects more than a certain amount of people, it will not show the film because it's classed as a public viewing. Yeah, it's going to turn itself off. That's that's legitimate technology that's in it. That it's going to say, oh, this is too many people to watch this movie. You need to pay us more. And therefore, we'll, we'll turn our sets off. That's, that is scary. But there is a solution scary that got brought up on Reddit. If enough of us get these three six, um, Xbox Ones and we bound together, all you need to do stand there naked as close as you can to the camera without it going distorted windmill helicopter dick for let's just say an hour a day if we all do it for an hour a day <laughs> an hour a day i need like, to give up an hour of a day someone is data mining this info has to sit there and watch that if enough of us do it can you imagine that you're walking through an office of like thousands of monitors or something and at least six of them are sat there with someone's helicopter dicking. <laughs> just like we're cereal. <laughs> my only concern with that is his mind's right next to the window. I could be sitting stood there like helicopter dicking with my cereal. Bus goes past. I don't think you care because you, in fact, this is because your old house had the biggest front window of all time. You totally used to walk around naked in there and it was straight. Yeah, I told you that story about that. Um, no, but it sounds like a good story. It's a short story. Basically, my mum and dad's house is on a main road and it's quite a thin main road so if there's a car parked on the side a bus will go down slowly have to cut through the park and it was when uh, I was in college um, working with you at the pub and I was parents were in work in the morning I was in work at four in the afternoon so I was sat there fuck all on just eating my uh, cereal <laughs> who does that with the open window I mean I've eaten naked no, the thing before is though, but... the thing is though, <laughs> who does that the bushes at the garden will stop people they can't see in however the top floor of a double decker bus can so I sat there eating my cereal no I was lying on the couch eating my cereal just with nothing on no one in the house no one coming back for another few hours double decker bus came past had to squeeze through the car the top deck of this bus it was lunchtime, so it was rammed one person clocked it everyone looked in I looked at it, I was startled for a fraction of a second, but then I thought, do you know what? Fuck it. I'm in my house. <laughs> it's too Fuck late. You. If I freak out now, I look the dickhead. So I just looked at him, just stopped for a bite, and went... <laughs> Fuck it. That's disgusting, man. Don't care. Being naked in your house is a great thing, but you abused it. You, uh, you abused you, it. Yeah, if you want to look into my house and I'm stood there with my cock out, that's your problem. That is abuse, yeah, you fucking You're nosy, abusing. nosy, nosy bastards. You're abusing your power. Are you going to watch E3? Are you going to follow uh, that I'm happens? probably... It's, it starts tomorrow, but I'm quite busy tomorrow doing nothing. So what I'm probably going to do is... Ca I'm probably going to catch the highlights because there's a lot of live feeds on Twitter, online, that do live highlights. Just, just keynote points. This game came out. This game came out. At a certain amount of time... Uh, this time, we've got a trailer for this game. I'll probably tune in for the stuff like that. Did you watch the Xbox One reveal? Because you were on holiday. Yes. You were on holiday. I was texting you saying I was watching it. I was like, dude, this is going really badly. I, uh, you should watch it. Did you watch it when you got back? No. Because it was, it was about an hour, if not less. Uh, something like that. But yeah, I won't be watching all of E3. But I did know that Apple have scheduled... Uh, it was on Again, it was on Reddit. But they've, Apple have scheduled their big announcement exactly the same time as Microsoft's Xbox One. Which is probably the new iPhone and the new iPad and the new MacBook. I think they said. 
a new MacBook. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know Max. Do you know what I found funny? And it had no words on it at all. And it was one of the top posts on the front page of Reddit. And it said something like, uh, it was two things actually. The first post was, um, uh, what was it now? Sony's PS4 marketing campaign and uh, highlighted in a picture. And it was just a picture of the Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> which is genius and underneath it it was um, Sony's PR management campaign staff hard at work and it was a dog pool <laughs> just with a drink <laughs> the only thing I've said about it the last thing I've got to say about this is the, the uh, second hand game stuff because that really it doesn't affect us because primarily no. PC gamers it doesn't affect us most of our games are new anyway big companies it's going to mess around with though it and messes it around with games and game stops but again I don't as horrible it is because we've got friends who work at game at stores like that I'm not overly bothered about that it's the people like Emma's dad I was saying to you Emma's dad has never had a lot of money by any means he's never bought a new game in his life ever like the newest game he owns is probably still Skyrim although I did buy in Dead Space 2 but apparently it was too scary because he plays it uh, he's the three year old they've got in the house sits and watches him play Pussy. So he, yeah I know uh, but uh, I watched Predator at that age I'll have you know, Spongebob style. I watched Predator at age three. Nice. My, dad, my brother made me. Nice. But this just really fucks him over. And that's really sad because he just can't afford to buy new games. So the second-hand game market, he will wait two years to get an old game, or a good game, cheaper. Because he can't afford it. So he will wait that long. He's patient, he'll wait, and he'll play... I think he's still playing Skyrim. And I bought him that nearly a year ago. And it's still like his Skyrim, only played no, game. Bro. Oh, he's just he loves it, and that's his newest game. So he plays that over and over again. But why does it take him so long to play Skyrim? Did we cover this last time? Yeah, he doesn't fast travel. He doesn't fast travel. He walks everywhere he needs to go. Takes in dat scenery. <laughs> he takes in dat scenery. He's actually playing some fucking bizarre MMO that he got free off Steam, uh, which is totally weird. Should we move on to the transmox? Should we take a two and then do transmogs? Uh, let's take a really quick break because my balls are sweating. It's hot. It's I'm hot. I'm literally sat in a nice ball soup. <laughs> it's hot. Project Titan. Uh, I think we'll talk about that in the last part of the show. Let's move on to the transmog. We'll take two minutes because it is hot as bollocks in here. Uh, and then we'll do transmog time. And then we'll give away some games. Yeah, yeah. I want some games. Can I have some games? Don't put bubble bobble on. I won't do. Okay. Can good. I have a game? I think you've already got it. Can I have another one? No. Then I definitely won't one. put bubble bobble on. 